You're listening to Off The Tracks, your number one podcast right here on YouTube. You can even catch us on Audio Boom with Spotify. So enough of me talking. Sit back and enjoy Off The Tracks. Hello and welcome to Off The Tracks, your number one podcast right here on YouTube. Everything related to theme parks. This is episode number 14 and it is the date is the... What is the date? I think today is the 20th of March. 20th of March. Wow. And it's it, it's been chaos to be fair. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I do apologise uh, for last... Uh, well, the last episode because it's been a while since we've done this actually. It's been like two or three weeks. Two or three weeks I think it is. Yeah. Um, and what's pretty much uh, happened to this the audio was really bad uh, at the beginning the middle and the end um, so I do apologise for that um, but in the meantime I do think I've sorted my audio out we have cameras everywhere now oh, yeah. um, so pretty much you're going to get multiple shots of us so uh, it should be quite cool um, first things first you know you can also follow us on our social medias on Instagram Facebook and Twitter and if you are new to this channel if you're wondering what have I just clicked on make sure you do subscribe if you do like this kind of content and you can also find us on Audio Boom and Spotify and also we have a new website which if you don't know is tpfamily.com .co.uk you keep getting it wrong <laughs> oh my gosh I will drill it into you yes it's tpfamily.co.uk right across the table from me sorry I've got to introduce you oh, sorry. across the table from me we do have Lewis Lewis how are we hello 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 today has been good I mean it's been chocolate down with rain oh, no, it's so, awful ugh, to be but, fair it's but been from that weather. it's been alright has it yeah. it's been alright um, subjects then what shall we talk about so the first thing we're going to talk about is Blackpool Pleasure Beach that's right Blackpool Pleasure Beach not long ago we actually did a vlog on uh, we, we finally got to a theme park <laughs> <laughs> after a couple of months yay it's been such a while but no um, yes we went to Blackpool originally we were supposed to have gone on Storm when Storm Dennis was there oh Storm Dennis Storm Dennis yes um, so we pretty much we rang up and we were like I ain't going nothing's going to be open turns out a lot of stuff was open that day but anyway we weren't going to risk it we weren't going to chance it so pretty much we, we rang up and they were awesome to be fair they, they were absolutely brilliant oh, they, yes. uh, they pretty much uh, swapped our days over and it's a good job we did really because wow the weather was amazing apart from the amazing. end when it was chucking it down with rain the entire day was just oh yeah sunny. about 5 o'clock because they upped the uh, the um, the the closing time because originally yeah. it was four o'clock it was like 11 till four o'clock and now they kind of upped it till five o'clock which was great for us because we got that extra hour to do the ride it was brilliant the sun was shining but like you say it was raining oh it chucked it down with rain and the, when we were in the car it just and i couldn't find my car keys yeah. <laughs> i need to get in the car it's raining the boot was open as well and that was just funny because everyone was just stressing out oh i know i know i know it was yeah because we all got in the car ready to go and, and my uh, my dashboard was saying you can't go anywhere <laughs> something is open and i'm like open looked outside and oh my gosh the boot is actually wide open and we were stuck in between two cars because they did it so tight i know they did i know they did but overall blackpool itself did you have a good day? Oh, I loved it. Because yeah. obviously we haven't been to a theme park in so long, especially Blackpool. Uh, just looking at the place and seeing the big one, so Tom, mm. I, I can't wait for today. It was amazing. It was. It wasn't just me and you. We obviously took your mother... Uh, we took Liam and we also had Haley. Haley's never been before. I do apologise as well. In the vlog, I said that Liam's never been. I don't know why I said that. He has been before. <laughs> but but he's never been on the rides, the big ones, because yeah. he was too little. Um, so we got his first expressions, uh, how he felt uh, going on Icon, the big coast, and also the big one. I think Liam said Icon was one of his top ten, I think. Yeah, I think he said. He said it was it was up there. No, but then he said, like, Revolution. Oh, my God, that was terrible. I got, I was sat next to Liam, and then all of a sudden, we just go down, and Liam said, oh, my God, it's so sweet. I'm like, it really hurts. It was not nice. I don't like Revolution. No. I just, uh, you know, stay behind the yellow line. I, <laughs> I just can't. It's something about it. Um, It just makes me feel physically sick. And when you're on top of that the station... By God, does that shake? Oh my God, with yeah. The wind and stuff. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, if this goes, that's it. It's game over. <laughs> to be fair, um, but overall, we have to talk about it. Uh, it's it's quite obvious. Mm -hmm. I, I lost my phone. If you've not seen the vlog already, make sure you do check out the vlog. The first ride <laughs> of 2020. 2020, the f your first theme park season, and I lose my phone. First, I, I remember because I think it was around the second boost or second launch. Launch, yeah. Um, I remember going up, and then all of a sudden I heard this loud crash on the rails, and I thought it must have been the ride because I remember hearing it a couple of years ago. And then, like, so, like shortly after, my dad said, 
oh my god, I lost my phone. I'm like, what? I could, <laughs> I could not believe it. The minute it, yeah, like you said, it's the second launch, and then you got that like, kind of loop, well, semi loop, and then you kind of go into a do- uh, dive nose, uh, yeah. nine, nose dive, and then you kind of, I don't know, it, it banks left to right, and but then I just heard this phone just go bang, and I was like. You've got to be kidding me. And the person behind me was like, I think you've lost your phone, mate. And I was like, I know I've lost my phone. And then his reaction when you found out it was an S10. Yeah, he was uh, like, well, what's, what phone have you got, mate? And I goes, oh, it's a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And he was like, ooh. That's not sadly, good, is it? they couldn't retrieve it. Yeah. I, thank you for the people who've actually commented on the, uh, the video, on the vlog. They're like, Danny, did you find your phone? No, it is the answer. I did not we, find We did my not phone. find it at all. Uh, we tried to look for it uh, when we went on Icon again later on in the day. I don't know why. As if you're going to look for a little black, <laughs> tiny box on a coaster. You know, you're not going to find it, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, but like I said, the guest services, we went there, we spoke to them. They said, we'll get our mechanics out there. We'll have a look for you. I haven't received any emails or any phone calls. So in my eyes, at this time as well, the weather is being cold, being wet. It's damaged. You know, it is what it is. So I have got myself a brand new phone. It's not just that as well, because it's not for the photos, because I do upload. I'm a bit like OCD yeah. with that. I always like upload my photos onto my PC. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. But it's things like my online banking and uh, also um, my, all my YouTube stuff. Uh, my Instagrams, trying to remember all your passwords. That's it's stuff I, like that that I, I was getting really frustrated about. Yeah, because I, I assume you're using loads of passwords and loads of emails. So this everything. is it. It is, it is. But overall, it, considering from that, I absolutely loved Blackpool. It was yeah. great. It was good to get onto the uh, the big one, like you said, Icon. I uh, went on that twice. It wasn't even that busy there, was it? No, they just ran one car every day, like for every ride. And that's the reason why the queues picked up quite fast. Yeah, I, this is it. Yeah, running on one train. What is that about Blackpool you need to I don't care if it is quiet you've got to run it on a two train service now someone did actually uh, Instagram me saying because I was I was on about so angry about running one train and they <laughs> did say that two of them though was in uh, maintenance on, on the big one so oh. that's why I had limited uh, trains on that service um, which is which is understandable um, yeah. but overall I enjoyed it. The uh, the uh, the big one uh, was good. Oh my god, it was a bit it was rough. They, some people were saying it was quite smooth. I'm like, ah, where it did was you get rough. Smooth? I think it was because of the the wind. Because when we were down, like I could barely feel the wind. We got to that 150 foot, 200 foot. We, we went down, and I was like, oh my god, I can't see a thing. Oh my, yes, it was yeah, crazy. Yeah, you can't open. It should give you like goggles. You know, but like, well, like a red, red force. force yeah, yeah, like goggles when you're going down that because you are like literally. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> it's crazy. No wonder it's short whenever it's. Like really rainy, oh, I really know. windy. Yeah, well, windy and stuff. Yeah. Um, like I said, we did the ghost train. They vamped that up. That was awesome. I loved yeah, it. Yeah, I really liked so it. Thank you so much, by the way, uh, for allowing us to film on there. You know, thank you so much. That was really nice of him. And also with the uh, river caves, which oh, yeah. uh, me, mo- uh, which Kelly, y- your mother, um, mm. she she did she doesn't like big coasters, so she got one of these. Like I don't want to call it a chicken pass. She it's it's a, it's a pass which you don't go on any ride hardly, and yeah. it's ten pound. That's all you pay, and there is like limited ride you. can can go on but not, all like 1.11 1. 1, 1. yeah they're not 0. big major coasters mm. um i think that i think one of them was like bella something garden oh and that was the, it was like it's kind of like a swing coaster but with one swing yeah I don't something, understand like, it. something for the kids and or whatnot um but um yeah she went on to the uh river river caves yeah that was Awesome. Do you Even know what? I've it. never appreciated that ride. I've kind of gone, there's no queue on it. Let's just jump on it and, you know, wee! Let's just have a good time with it all. I, looking around, because I was not allowed to film on there, I got, yeah. my, I got my camera out and I was checking out all the uh, the set pieces. It's quite a big ride. I love the bit, you know, when you go to like the ice area and mm. like there's like all the ice particles and stuff just going around. I love that bit. I don't know why. Oh, mate, I personally think it's... It's a good dark ride. A yeah. Good, you know, a good boat dark ride in my eyes. Um, I, I can't... Thinking on the top of my head what boat rides I've ever been on, what are dark rides, I can't... I don't think there's that many. But in my eyes, that's 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 up there, you know. Just yeah. due to the fact of the... Um, don't get me wrong, the animatronics are, you know, basic. But Shocking. that beats... Uh, what's that one where we went to Fantasyland? Oh, the... Um, oh, my God. Something Hollywood. Remember. Yeah, Hollywood. That was it. Was it Hollywood Ride or something like that? It was terrible. I just remember looking at... Was it Godzilla? No, it wasn't Godzilla. Godzilla King was Kong. weird, like, finger going on. Yeah, going King on. Kong was just going... <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. But no, that... 
The, the, like I say, River Caves knocks that out the window, mate. Oh, I've, good, I've yeah. loved River Caves, and now the fact of uh, Kelly could go on it as well, which was which was brilliant as well. Yeah. Um, we didn't do too many rides. We did the Big Dipper. We've got to do the Big Dipper. You we didn't go on Infusion. We didn't go on Infusion because the queue was massive because it was running on one train, and we didn't go on the Grand National because that was running on one train. Although yeah, it's supposed it, to be a two. Yeah, <laughs> also a bit confused with service, that. You know. But, you know, hey ho. Um, overall, the weather was great. It was yeah. good value. The only downfall is that you're not allowed to bring your food into the park. I don't yeah. understand that. I think that's I think that's a bit naughty for mm. Blackpool to do that. You're kind of forcing people. You can come out of the park. I think that's what they can do. It's a seaside of town, so they probably can say you can nip out the park, grab yourself some weather spoons, or go and get grab yourself a chippy and then come back yeah. into the park. But you're just not allowed food. I, I, it is what it's their I, rules. Which I is don't know news. why they're doing. It. I, I I don't think it's because of money. I don't think they, I don't think they're not bringing it just because they can get loads of money from restaurants. I do think no, because I don't think they get money from Burger King. No, I think Burger King pay Nick- Blackpool no. to have their brand in the park. I think yeah. not one. I know that McDonald's used to do that when I worked at Alton Towers. Wait, um, there was McDonald's at yeah, there was McDonald's. used to be where Ripsaw. Where really? Ripsaw, yeah, where Forbidden Valley is used to be because I used to, I used to go there for my dinner. Believe it or not, yes. Oh, wow. Hence the uh, the wait. Um, but overall, I, it was good to get to Blackpool. It was great that the weather was nice. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think I don't know if you have it as well. Do you think Icon is quite slow? Um, I do remember it being faster than what it was. Um, because obviously Icon, it's smooth. I have to admit, it's oh, yeah, very it's smooth. Oh yeah, it's one of the smoothest coasters. Yeah. Um, even though there is two launches, I would like to be a little bit faster because I think it's the no, big it's one... nowhere on the scale of like Tarrant no. or um, uh, Blue Fire at Europa Park, uh, which we will talk about very shortly. Um, yeah. But overall, Blackpool, what is your number? What was your highlight? Would you say? And what is your best ride? There, would you say? Well, I mean, my highlights linked with my best ride. I have to say Icon. Icon because... is your number one there. Unlike the big one, Icon's got so much decoration and so much like it just everything's everywhere, and I just love it yeah. so much. I don't know why. I just what's really your don't. worst? Uh, oh, Blackport I, Infusion. I, I think it has to be. <laughs> I think it has. Or the or uh, the maze, or the, the weird illusion maze. Because after that, it's yeah, the, one, the illumination. Is that the one where it's supposed to be like? It's like hex. It, Oh my gosh, it's so bad. Is that one with the, the chain? And then we were like, what's with the chain? And then the world's just... tiniest room ever. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go to the illusion. Um, <laughs> no. It's so bad. It's Yeah, you need to get rid of that. Um, no. Mine, I would say... Do you know what? It's 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 between River Caves, believe it or not. It's between <laughs> River Caves and Icon. As crazy as, as it may sound. Um, well, you're worst. No, are the are good rides. Oh, um, I was about to say. We did, we also, we don't forget, we did, um, oh. Da, 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 Big Dipper. Da, da, oh, Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit, that's it. Jeez. Jeez, Gromit. Jeez, Gromit. Um, all right. Yeah. All right, right. I prefer River Caves to Yeah, that as a I'd rather ride. go on the River Caves than to go on Wallace and Gromit because. The Tunnel of Love, as they say. <laughs> I don't understand why it's got the Tunnel of Love. I yeah. said, I turned around to your mother and I was like, what's this ton of love business I about? do like the drop at the end, because ju- just a warning, it's not, there's it's only not one person at the back, uh, it was Liam, and he got drenched. He got soaked, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's just because it's Liam, but it was quite funny. I, I know. Um, anyway, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed it. I definitely give Blackpool a thumbs oh, up. Oh, God, yeah. It, it was a great day. Um, our subject, number two, I this think This one's we need to a little it. bit more serious. Uh, it's the coronavirus. The coronavirus on... Uh, well, I don't want to be stating like, you know, we're not going to theme parks. Nah. No. It's a huge worldwide thing. If you've not... I don't, people, everyone knows everyone about it. Everyone who lives under a rock, uh, yeah. it's pretty much like this disease that's been going around the entire world. It started in China. And now all of a sudden it's just spreading everywhere. And it's yeah. affecting a lot of people, not just in their jobs, but in their day-to-day lives as well. Yeah. Um, also, it's affected leisure. Yeah. Now, I'm unfortunately, we prive on our leisure where we go to theme parks now i've had a lot of people say to me danny i, I want to know what what's open what's not open and now it, the uk hasn't been properly properly been hit yet 
to con- uh, concerning be, theme parks. There's meant to be like 700 or eight to 800 people. But Boris Johnson's thinking somewhere like 10,000 people in the UK have it. What, but, what I've got it? Yeah. Yeah, well, but what's happening that. is now is um, I know that Alton Towers has opened. Yeah. I know that Thorpe Park is going to be opening. And oh. I do believe that uh, Legoland is opening because they did a press conference at uh, for the new Duplo uh, ride yeah. itself I know they are open however though I know some people are thinking about going abroad now like you you probably have known in the news now is that the US unfortunately nothing is going to the US or nothing's coming out of the US as well so your trips to Florida uh, or California where your Disney's are or your bush gardens are all closed now um, I have been speaking to um, Universal Studios and they actually sent me an email back uh, stating uh, pretty much, let me just find where it is. It says, it, obviously, Universal Orlando Resort will be temporarily closed. Uh, the theme park and Blue Man Group shows beginning Monday, March the 16th, um, will remain closed. Um, it pretty much also says through the end of March as well. So it's not no one knows no one can put a time on it as well uh, universal orlando hotels and universal city walk will remain open right let me just say that so it will be remain open at this date of recording like i say this is episode number 14 and the date is the 20 20- 20th of March. 20th of March. Also, it pretty much states um, we will create flexible programming uh, for those guests who who have booked travel packages, tickets with us. Guests can call this number. I will put the number below here and also put all the information from all the websites um, at the bottom of this video so you guys can click if you are thinking about going to Universal Studios. Also, um, Bush Gardens and SeaWorld are also closed. However, though, it may seem that it's open, but they have to due to the animals, what they have. Um, so there you go. You know, at the end of the day, no one knows what's going on here. Uh, some people have been asking uh, will will I be able to uh, get a refund with my ticket or experience? They put they've uh, they've uh, said pretty much uh, for guests who have tickets or in park experience uh, that will not be able to obviously attend uh, on the day. Uh, you need to contact customer service. So there you go, guys. You need to contact customer service um, for that. Have you got anything? Uh, uh, yes. So I don't know if it's every Disney. Theme no, it will park. be every single Disney park. Every single be. Disney theme park is going to be closed and I have a statement. It says, the Disney Village Retail and Dining Complex at Disney Paris will temporarily be closed uh, as the, as of the morning of Sunday, March 15th. Additionally, our Disney hotels will follow with closure as our current guests depart. If you have no idea what I mean, if I'm complete, complete nonsense, it pretty much means everything's going to be isolated and yeah, nobody everything, will be allowed. Yeah, everything's going to... It sounds like they're, they're, they're trying to push out the last lot of groups in them parks. Yeah. This is this is mad. This it's is crazy. crazy now. Uh, some people have said to me, Danny, am I going to be able to... Uh, are we going to be able to go to Holland? Because we, we've got a European trip. We're going to, supposed to be going to Eftelin. Um, also... Park. Yeah, Roper Park. Um, I have actually had a statement here from Eftelin as well. Um, I have got a statement here from Eftelin about the coronavirus update as well. It states um, pretty much they have decided uh, to close the uh, the Eftelin world until March the 31st. Our golf park and uh, theatres are now closed. Uh, and the events from 100 people have been cancelled. The theme park close, uh, closes on March the 14th, and the hotel and resort closes on March the 16th. Guests who have booked to stay for that weekend are still welcome. I don't know what that kind of means. I know that it's not in lockdown um, yet. Yeah. I've got a feeling that we're not going to be able to go to, um, obviously, Eftelin, Europa Park. I don't think we'll be going to Benidorm either later on in the year. Yeah, because I, I, on the news somewhere, it says that, uh, I think it was Jet 2, they've closed down every transportation to Spain. Because I think yeah. they're trying to keep Spain as a, a non-coronavirus area. Yeah, well, you know, they're just trying to isolate all the countries and stuff to stop yeah. it spreading. And um, it has caused a massive uh, effect uh, to everyone. Um, I'm I'm not cheesed off 
I'm not. It's, it is what it is. The government have put this down. This is a lot more serious than us going out doing theme parks and vlogging. Could all just be like, you know, all cheesed off and really angry. I want to go to a theme. The, the, everywhere is in the same boat. A lot of companies are trying to figure out uh, another, uh, another plan, pretty much. An alternative. Of, to sort out this, because there are going to be a lot of people who want to reschedule their days out or, or holidays. So please bear with them. If you are concerned, just make sure you just email them. And if they don't get back, just obviously a lot of them will say that they do high a, do have a high rate of volume of phone calls um, due to the fact that people are just panicking. Don't panic. Just let them do their work pretty much that's all i can say yeah uh, about the whole thing um i'm i'm slightly upset that we're not going to f tell him yeah that but is i couldn't quite i bad. couldn't understand i'm slightly upset that we're not going to wallaby holland um although saying that though wallaby holland hasn't actually put a statement out there yet so we don't know if we can still go on europa that. park in germany also haven't put a statement out yet can we still go to fantasy island though but fantasy island haven't yet because it's in a uk theme park so yeah. in the meantime we have no idea no one knows they are putting these dates in places i think they just need to they're all saying like at the end of march or at the end of april but no one's actually putting a date on him. I'm sure that Alton Towers and Thought Park and the UK theme parks are all gonna be gonna have to close their gates um, well, because it's because if you think about it, theme parks actually you go to a toilet, you sit on a bench, you you're grabbing harnesses, you, you you're touching buttons, you're doing a lot of stuff. You are and theme parks can get quite busy as well. Yeah. So if anything, theme parks are quite you know known for catching germs. You know. So I, I think they're trying to find a cure for it, which I'm hoping they do because we've booked so many theme parks throughout the year mm, to try yeah. and get content. And it's not just us, though, Lewis. It's it's other people, you know. Yeah. And they, like I said, with Florida, I feel so so. We, we we've been lucky. We've been to Florida. We're supposed to be going to California next year and um, see the point. I don't know if we will though. We don't know. Is is this is this a quick fix? I don't think so. But you know, it is what it is. Um, guys, you know, let me know if you guys have booked a holiday and you've had an email uh, about this saying that you, your flight or your holiday has been cancelled. Um, I see if I can try and sort something out. I can email them um, to try and get out some more information if you are struggling. I do speak to a lot of these theme parks, um, you know, through emails uh, just to get the information for you guys. Um, there we go. I know it's on a bit of a downer. We're not, we're not question time because we're running out of time here. Yeah. Um, but overall, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get this sorted out. I we'll think... we'll end up going to these theme parks, you yeah. know. Yeah. Well, maybe and... a bit later than. Yeah. What we my planned. schedule obviously stated that we were going to certain theme parks. That's kind of gone out the window now, which is understandable. Um, so that is it. I would say. I think that's everything we just make sure, guys, that you are safe, health becomes more important than anything else yes 100 i think the nhs has requested when soap and water the sing the happy birthday song sing, yeah singing the happy birthday i saw i heard liam do it the other day i was like <laughs> what are you doing liam he's like this is this is how you wash your hands and i was like all right okay but you know as, as long as you're washing your hands what makes me think though why weren't you washing your hands in the first place that's a bit creepy by liam mm. to be honest but overall, um, you know, that is. We do hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and I hope it has uh, kind of helped you out on uh, on your trips abroad. Um, like I said, you can follow us on our uh, social medias on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And if you are new to this channel, please make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon. And also time. check us out on Audio Boom and Spotify. And we also have a website, which I said at the beginning, which is tpfamily.co.uk. So there you go, guys. I'm Danny. And I'm Lewis. And thank you for watching Theme Park Family. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.